Hey y'all, hey, it's Char, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be making my Christmas cover for my planner. Yes, guys, I got my Miss Claus paper pad, and I'm going to get getting with making a cover. I am not the greatest crafter, but I do try my hand at it. So if you guys want to see how my cover turns out for the Christmas time, then go ahead and stick around. <music> Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get to it. What's up? What's up, Goody Squad? Um, I'm going to show you what I have here. My Miss Claus paper pad, of course. Um, and I might actually make a couple um, covers. Not today. I might come back on and do a cover, another cover, because I also like that sugar and sparkle pad that I showed you guys. So for right now, I am going to do... Um, Use Miss Claus. I have my Happy Planner a paper punch right here. And I have my um, 12 by 12 paper cutter from, this was from Hobby Lobby. This I got at Joann's like last year, I think, with a 60% off coupon. And this I got at um, Michael. So all of the craft stores are accounted for, y'all. We got Hobby Lobby, we got Joann's, and we got Michael. So let's get with the get down. All right, so first off, let's see what page we want to use. And just offhand, guys, for me thinking, I think, uh, where is it? I think I want to use this page for the front. Oops, sorry, guys. And then I think I want to use this for the back, I think. So... Let's just go ahead and get started. Hopefully I don't mess this up, guys. Okay, so let me take my paper out. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take my paper out here. So this is the page I think I'm going to use. Um, I actually need, I'm gonna use one of those Happy Planner um, Make Your Own Cover. I, uh, I ordered, yeah, I did actually. I ordered me another one online for in-store pickup with that a sixty percent off coupon that was out the other day for, so I got it for three bucks. I already have one, but I felt like I needed another one just in case I wanted to do a all together separate Christmas planner, and that video may be coming up too because I have a section in my regular planner, but I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm going to uh, pause you guys really quick so I can run and get my other planner to use that paper for a template, and then we will go from there. Okay, guys, so I am back. Like I said, I want to use this page for the front. Here is my fall cover here. I am just going to um, take this off really quick. Like I said, I have another one of these that I got. And I'm going to take this out because you just slide it in. And this was in there with it, so I'm going to use this for a template. Okay. So what I mainly want to get is this scene here with the Merry Christmas because I could always use the door um, like separately. So let me see how this is going to work. Am I going to be able to do that? Hmm. So if I put it here, it'll be over. I get, I got to have a Merry Christmas in the window. I got to have her. Let me see. Maybe I could go down lower, but I kind of want you to still see that it's a window too. Hmm. This is going to be tricky, guys, because I usually make my marks on the opposite side, but I'm going to have to do them on the front. So I'm just going to make a mark here, a mark here, so that way I know to cut. Let me see, would that be right? Cut there and there. Like I said, guys, I'm not very crafty, so I'm hoping this is going to come out okay. And then here, and then here, so I kind of know where I'm cutting. Okay, don't laugh at me, guys, because <laughs> I struggle with my fall one. So, if I open this up, I need this cut, let me see, this way, this 
So I need this right here. So I'm not trying to line it up right with the line. All right, so I need this cut. Is that right? All right, me. I'm so nervous, y'all. So I need this cut here. So you have to really push down and then come back for it to come off. Okay, so I got that cut there, but you can still see the marks, which is what I don't want. So I'm gonna have to go up a little higher, just a smidgen to get that off of there. And I'm hoping it's straight, because sometimes if you don't hold the paper straight, then it won't cut straight. So it don't matter that it's in a cutter, because it still won't. Okay, so I did get that little piece off. Uh-oh. I got my scissors down here. Cut that little piece off right there, because it's annoying. Well, you know what? I ain't going to need it. I ain't going to need it, so that don't matter. Okay, so now I'm going to go right in here. Lay that right there and try to cut that piece off. I'm so nervous, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna go back and forth, make sure it's cut. Ah, okay, okay, y'all, so far so good. All right, now I'm going to go this way. And where's my mark at here? Is that it? Is that my mark? I think that's my mark. Right next to the dog, is that my mark? Okay, so I'm gonna, Ooh, y'all, I'm gonna have to cut the dog ear off. Sorry, doggy. Sorry. Okay, so you really have to push down on this. I got this paper cutter at Hobby Lobby, and like I said, it was 50% off. Um, and you have to do the 12 by 12 if you're going to use um, these paper pads. Where's my mark up top? Uh oh, I lost my mark up top. Okay, so where's my template? Here. So I'm going to have this bottom. And all right, is that working? All right, so let me just make a little mark here. All right, just right there. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here and just cut right below that so I don't get the. All right, guys. Okay, so let's see. All right, so I still got my door I can use. That's left. And then this will be my front cover, which actually I would have cut more of the dog off. Let me see how it's looking. I usually put the white piece of paper behind it. But let me slide it in and let's see how it's looking. Oh, did I cut it right? Cut it too short. It don't look too bad, but I feel like I. Let me see. Could I know? Not really. I couldn't. I went more on the side. Maybe a little on the side, but that don't look too bad, though, huh, guys? What do you guys think of that? That's cute there. Let me try it with the white piece behind it, because then it's more snug with the white piece. So this will be my front. Or, you know, I really could have went, um, cut some more of that bottom off, but I ain't, well, you know what, I could have cut some more of the dog off. Cut it right at the feet, but let me see. No, it's lined up right with that white paper. Okay, y'all, okay. Okay. All right, she getting better. She is she ready. Okay. All right, so I like that. All right, so that's going to be, but they usually put something on the inside cover, so what should I do? I know the outside cover I want to be, let me just put these to the side. <clears throat> My outside cover, I want to be that buffalo plaid. So I might do the inside of this, that, or, you know, would I have enough paper left? My phone is making noises, so let me see. Well, those polka dots would be cute, too. Hmm. Okay, so I know I want a page of this. 
for sure for the back because I live for Buffalo Plaid. So let me try to rip this. I'm always afraid I'm not going to rip this right. And guys, like I said in a few of my um, hauls of paper pads, I'm really getting into the paper pads. Like, I didn't know I was a paper pad girl, but I'm thinking I'm a paper pad girl. Okay, so that's that. You know what I think? They got that leopard. That leopard is cute, too. Ooh. Can I put the leopard somewhere, or is that not Christmassy enough? And I got that one. That looks kind of cute with that green there. Hmm. Maybe I should have that on the other side of it. Let me see. Let me flip it. What y'all think? What y'all was y'all thinking? I'm thinking I could. Let me see if I cut this. How much would I have left? Cause I'm gonna have to put something up under too. This is um, I'm liking this for some reason too. So I'm gonna pull this page out too. And then on the back cover, maybe I just well, you know what? I don't necessarily have to have nothing on the other side. I just think it's cute. Maybe I'll make this for the other side. But then what would I have? With the inside of that one because some of these like are not my favorite this is cute here too i don't know i might piece something together too i'm gonna pull this one out too piece something together and make some inside i don't want to use okay all right so we're gonna maybe do this for the inside cover because I think I want this for sure on the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and start getting our template ready. All right, so we got our front. I'm probably going to do something else to make that look girly, but I love that, guys. So we have our front. All right, let's do our back half of the front. Now, this one, I don't necessarily have to put it on the front. I can cut it on the back like I usually want to. Because I was cutting out like a specific area that time, but this time I am not. So I'm just going to put a line here, a line here, and a line here. So this one should not be as difficult. So let me pull my cutter on back. Pull my cutter on back. I didn't know I was going to be a cutter, y'all, but I'm a cutter. Your price is way too high. You need to cut it. All right, so let's go here, slap it on down, bring it on across. All right, let's take this piece out. So we got this piece here we might need to use. And then let's go right on here. Right here. Why do these look different with the lengths? Uh-oh. I feel like those lengths look different. Just go. Well, they similar. I shouldn't say they're different. Okay. All right. So we got. Uh oh. Come on. Cut. For, sometimes it'll do that too, y'all. Act like it don't want to cut all the way to the end, which is an annoyance. Come on, man. All right. Just cut right to the edge for me. And then I just try to cut the little section I'm trying to cut. Really? That's what you're going to do? Okay. Now I do it. Then I got that little. Okay. So. All right. I think this is my inside. So I think we're going to go this route here. I will say inside. Uh oh. Did I cut that one right? All right. Now, let's see if this worked out right or not. But I'm still going to put that white piece because I want my um, inside part to be solid and sturdy because it is not as sturdy as a... Okay, I like that, guys. Ooh, I'm excited. I like the way it's coming out. Okay, so let's make our back. And then maybe we could piece... Could we piece this together to make a... Hmm, that don't look like that's matching, but... I could try to, what was that other piece after that I had? 
in the window. No, that's because that's a door. So I might piece something together and do that for the back just so I'm not being wasteful. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut our back half of the planner and then we will be cooking with gas, y'all. Cooking with gas. I like it when you can just cut it on the back because I prefer to, to do my line on the... What am I trying to say? I prefer to do my line on the part <clears throat> that doesn't have a picture. All right, so let's go ahead and cut here. Make sure you guys push down to make sure that cuts all the way through. All right, and then let's do our cut here. And sometimes, guys, I'll cut a little higher just in case I make a boo-boo and have to cut some more. Okay, so I think this is our back here. And then let's see if we can piece together. Piece. Piece. Piece together a piece here to make. Maybe that's not long enough. Or I might leave it white. I don't know. Okay, so let's. Is this my? Yeah. All right, I don't, let me see, I do get the back of the cover. What am I talking about? Okay, so let me take the back of this cover off here. All right, let me take this pink out. I'm just going to leave that white in there. Come on out, come on out. Oops, that's the wrong one. Wait, where's that? Y'all, where'd my paper go? Oh, over here. <laughs> I was about to say, I knew I'm not crazy. All right, so let me stick this in here. And for the back, I might leave the inside white. I might not. Because the back end is a... Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say it's not as important, but... All right, so let me slide that in here. Slide this in here. Oh, this one I must have. Okay, that's a little snugger, but that's okay. Then my, my other one. But snug is fine. Okay, that's my back cover. I love it, guys. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. So, so far I have this for my front and this for my back. So, it'll look like this when I snap it in the cover. This will be the front half. This will be the back half. Let me just pop it in real quick because at this point I'm thinking I'm going to leave the back white. But let's see if we made it do what it do. Okay, so this, move everything out the way so you guys can see. And I'm down on my dining room table because I wanted like stuff spread out so I could be able to do this. So this would be my front. Oh, let me take this out too. And this will be my back. All right, and I'm going to have to put like something here, probably more gingham or something so you guys don't see that inside. That is one of the things with the clear covers. You will see what's up under because it doesn't go all the way to the edge. So um, I think I'm going to hole punch something to go there and then we will have completed our um, covers. Okay, guys. So what I went ahead and did off camera was I cut these down to size of the planner cover so that way I can put this behind as I told you guys before you can see it so what I have to do though is I have to hole punch so I think behind the front one I'm gonna do this one because I think this will be so cute like it's a door opening and closing and then this one I'm gonna use for the back um, near the gingham so I'm gonna get my punch out and hopefully I line this upright some kind of flipping way when I did um, hopefully that's in there right when I did um, my pink one it didn't come out right now I, I don't know so I am hoping and praying Ugh. that this okay so that's how it looks after the happy planner punch okay so let's see how this gonna work y'all Let's hope and pray. Okay, so first this, well, do you know what first is? 
first this. Ah, oh, I punched it right this time, guys. Thank the Lord. Before, I had like a bunch hanging from the bottom some kind of way. And I don't know how I did that. So, that'll be cute. So, that's going to be like a door. But a place to cover. So, that there. And then I'll put my actual... Well, you know what? Let me just finish all of this before I go jump in the gun. Okay, so... Was I going to do an inside cover for here? What's on the back of there? I might not. I might just not. Just because I'm going to have that piece of... Uh, so this, where did I put it? That's the door. And then where was the, oh, this piece here. Then this piece here, I think is what I'm gonna lay here, but you can't really see much of that. Will you see much of that? Yeah, so let me punch that and see how that's gonna look. And then I'm gonna put them all together. And then I will end this video. But if you guys can see, I'm gonna try to kind of just line it up where the lines are. I think I must not have done that last time. And is this the right way? Thanks, Charlotte. Think. Could this be the right way? Let me do this right before. I... Okay, yeah, so I need to punch it that way. All right, so let me punch. Punch it, and then as you guys can see, that punch is there. And let me assemble everything and see how it works. I'm gonna, oh, the back I already have on there. So I already have my buffalo plaid pink and red and then i'm going to put this here to cover up this blue so you don't see that back page another alternative would be just to have a whole page on the back versus sticking it in there um so you don't see that back but this is just a little so when i close that see how you guys can see that up under so that's cute and then i'm going to flip this over and i'm going to put this door here because i wanted this to look like a door opening and closing. And then here I'm going to put my actual cover here. And guys, excuse that noise. My daughter is warming up something in the microwave. So that's it there, guys. Front cover here. This part, my little door. Oh, wait. Let me show you again. Front cover here. Move this stuff out the way. Front cover here. Inside cover here. Little flap to cover that clear part that you see, see there, like an open and closing door. I like that. I might put something embellishments at the top. Then I'm going to go all the way to the back. I have this here. And this can actually kind of be like a bookmark too, guys. So let's say I move this up like one. Let me see. That wouldn't work. I was going to say like a bookmark, but that wouldn't work. <clears throat> but that's a thought. Um, and I actually might, okay, so that there, and then that is white for now, but I may change it. If I do, I will insert a pick. And then this here, and then you can see that up under there, cute. And then you can see that door actually kind of blends in because that was the original part I cut in here. There. So guys, that concludes me making my new Christmas cover. Hopefully this was some inspiration to you guys. Hopefully um, it gives you guys some confidence to start crafting. Cause like I said, I'm not a big crafter, but I do like to do it when I do craft. And when something comes out correctly, it gets me very excited. So this is motivation to move on and do some other things. I am considering making this into a bookmark and maybe adding some stuff to that there. So I would punch it. And then um, just put it in here, have it sticking up, if you guys can see. Like a little bookmark in the planner, but just little crafty, creative things you can do with these paper pads. I appreciate you guys so, so very much for sticking with me through this video. My oldies but goodies, thank you so, so very much for always stopping back by and checking out my videos. I do appreciate you. And if you want to be a member of the Goodie Squad, make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure you hit that subscribe button to make sure that you guys become a member of the Goodie Squad. Again, thank you guys so, so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.